This is a spoiler free video. I repeat, this video is spoiler free. There's a huge argument online about when Jin should travel to Iki Island. One group says after you complete the main game, while the other group says as soon as you get access. Personally, I think you should go as soon as you can, and I got a few good reasons why. First, let's dead those fears of spoilers. If the director's cut is your first time playing Ghost of Tsushima, then you do not have to worry about spoilers. Now, a lot of people disagree with me here specifically because of the first time Jin comes face to face with the eagle. But let me provide you with some context here. Everything Jin says in the scene you're watching now is a bluff. He's bluffing because he's been captured and is trying to bluff his way to freedom. Tomorrow, a thousand samurai will join me on the shores of Iki. Surrender, and we will spare you. I mean, come on. How can you not tell that he's bluffing here? Some people are also claiming that there are other scenes that spoil what happens towards the end of Act 2, but I didn't get any of that, and I played through Iki Island on New Game Plus. Now, here's why I think you absolutely must go to Iki Island as soon as possible. Number one, the entire story of this expansion deals with Jin coming to terms with who he is, how his core being relates to the traditions of the samurai, and getting closure in regards to his father. The knowledge that comes out of Iki Island only strengthens the decisions Jin goes on to make in Act 2 and 3 of Tsushima. Number two, the rewards you get from completing non-story related events on Iki Island are so ridiculously powerful it just doesn't make sense to not have them for the several hours that it takes to complete Act 2 and Act 3 of Tsushima. On Tsushima Island, when you complete the bamboo strikes, Jin just gains more resolve. But when you complete the bamboo strikes on Iki Island, Jin regenerates up to 2 resolve while out of combat. Number 3, the charms of Iki Island are crazy powerful. The charm of concentration you get from the archery challenge can increase Jin's concentration by up to 2.4 seconds when it's maxed out. The charm of perfect landing gives you two resolve after successfully performing a safe landing. The charm of Shigura's sight lets Jin fire three arrows at once and even has a headshot lock on feature. And this is just a few of the dozen or so charms you can find on Iki Island. Why would you want to wait until the game is basically over before getting all of these amazing items? To make matters worse, none of these charms come from story missions. You can collect every charm on Iki Island without doing a single story mission. And that's it. If you're interested in which charms come from what missions, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a spoiler free guide to help you get exactly which charms you want. And until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and stay tuned to ICE TV. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> is it me? Is it dance? <laughs> is it dance? Yes, it's a dance. Oh man.